Hey down, this is Dave Decide. Today we need to talk about some new V pictures that were posted online. And then there are new rumors of Sasangs living in V's home, as well as some Calvin Klein underwear pictures, which is so cool. So hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on the web and zumblins, it's blog more merch, and let's get into it. Jenny recently did a campaign or signed on to work with Calvin Klein. I will talk more about this in a second, but this is such a big deal as it would represent a huge new vision of inclusivity for everyone to look at. If you want to support racial diversity, the best way to do that, if you can, is financially. If brands and companies see that every time this person of color promotes something or is in something, that thing tends to get a lot of views or make a lot of money, the company is more inclined to hire that person again and or hire others that look like this person. For many, many years and still kind of going on now, Asians were not included in the media. And not because the industry themselves thought Asians were ugly or untalented, they simply went by the numbers. When they pushed a teen Justin Bieber, that sold way more tickets, them way more money than if they marketed an Asian boy. And this is not just for America. People in China would often use white faces in their marketing as well because those tend to sell more. I mean, there's nothing more to say. We just live in a somewhat racist world that is deeply rooted in the racism that it's unconscious. And it's not really anyone's fault. But now we are seeing a small shift in that and I'm very excited about it. I also want to add more to the unconscious thing that underwear modeling and being the face of Calvin Klein is much more important than people think. A lot of people think men or women have had their sexual awakening, if you will, from looking at these ads. That sounds kind of gross, but it was these ads for me and many others that prompted the idea of, do I like the same gender? Am I attracted to that? Because in what other way do you see a person shirtless in a sensual way to be exposed to this idea that you may be attracted to that same gender? It wouldn't be from dating that gender because most people, when they're born, they think they're straight. So they would never try. Now, given that there were no or very few Asian models that were allowed to do it because of the financial financial thing I mentioned earlier, how do you expect people to be more accepting of other cultures and how other cultures look? And then also subconsciously fully accept this other race. Also given Asian men are often the butt of jokes in movies and shows. Jenny recently launched a new campaign with Calvin Klein. The billboards were posted everywhere and Jenny looked fan freaking tastic. It was posted hugely right in the middle of LA and this is how you know you have made it. I don't think there is a single person that would walk by and not know who she is or at least be curious to look her up. I think this is also breaking a little more waves in Korean media as well. To be accepting of women in less clothes, I don't think this was a huge issue before, but Korean idols don't typically have photo shoots in their underwear. So this is definitely setting an example. I think what is going to be even more awesome is as Jenny and Blackpink end up flying over to New York and to the VMAs, they may also see these billboards and it becomes this awesome way that they are getting welcomed back to America. Imagine leaving the airport and then seeing a huge picture of yourself. It's beautiful. I believe both Tang and Blackpink have officially landed in New York and I don't necessarily think they'll be doing anything together as YG had confirmed that Blackpink is extremely busy and will be preparing for the VMAs. It is believed that Tang is flying to work on solo projects so even though they are believed by netizens to be dating Jenny and V and hanging out in New York it seems very unlikely that they will be hanging out. People were concerned over the two flying out from Korea to New New York as they felt maybe stalkers would have gotten on the plane and the fans that ended up showing up at the airport were definitely a lot but nothing Tang and his security team couldn't handle. I don't think he was in any actual danger but there was a moment that people were talking about where they were a little nervous. Tang had his security form a circle around him and the security was very good at telling people to move out of the way and not touch Tang. And I want to add airport security is there to protect you. Celebrity security or bodyguards are not there to protect you. And if they feel like you will touch the celebrity or hurt the celebrity, they will hurt you. They will push you out of the way. They will hit you. So don't think that they have your best interest at heart and they will be gentle if you push through. And there were definitely a few people that security pushed away and or people who were not paying attention and got hurt. Tang was very kind and tried to let everyone know not to get too crazy. He gestured for people to move back and he always does this to make sure no one is hurt because at the end of the day, he's a good person. But also if anyone does get hurt, he will get most of the blame and the headlines will say he caused it. While things did look a bit crazy, I don't think he was in any danger himself and I don't think he was in trouble. Seems like Hybe's team did a great job at protecting him. Now while BTS or BTS individual members are on their work schedule, you can expect that they will get their amazing security team and all that. But it gets kind of murky and a little bit weird over the idea of if Hybe should pay for security during their personal time off. And it seems like allegedly they don't do that all the 
time. It had been reported by fans and other people that had spotted BTS during their off time that they don't have security with them. And I don't know if this has changed, but that's understandable. And when an idol is not doing anything or making any comeback, there's typically less press and thus they won't be harassed by too many people. I've mentioned this before, very, very few people get mobbed everywhere they go. Even Biden doesn't get mobbed just walking outside. This concern of V's safety during his personal time led to a concern over how a lot of Tang's apartment and how his apartment looks like inside ended up leaking online. Tang showed a significant amount of his apartment through selfies and videos. So a lot of people know those spots that he has repeatedly shown. But for the rest of the layout, the marketing people of the building and or the original marketing material V would have seen and then purchased from are all material that is never deleted online and is available for anyone to see. This makes it really easy for someone to know the exact location of the building in which V lives in. And if you bought an apartment for that sole reason to hopefully run into V, it wouldn't take long for you to run into V, either on the elevator or whatever. People believed that there was a Sasing fan who had purchased an apartment above V's apartment. But I couldn't find any specific articles referencing this, but this could just be a couple of people mentioning this. It's either just a theory since it makes a lot of sense that a Sasing fan could do this, or it's an article that was posted in Korean that I cannot find. Because since the story pertains to an area and apartment in Korea, I don't see why American news sites would report on it. But people were saying this makes sense. Private information about V has been leaked. But I don't know if that is true. Because a lot of the marketing material has been online for ages already. And Sasing fans are not that rich. There's people with some money, but anyone with the amount of money that it would cost to buy these apartments are probably not Sasings, as their families would either be the CEO or some sort of celebrity. These apartments are millions of dollars, and every country, especially Asian ones, are not lenient when doing background checks for buying homes there. You have to have significant wealth. Your job can't be Sesson fan. One of these believed to be private photos was a new photo that was posted claiming V and Jenny are dating. At this point, it's like, if they're dating, cool. I don't care. If they're not, that's cool too. But I don't think it's a big deal at all. These new photos was of V and Jenny in this foyer part of his apartment. This area has been shared multiple times by V, so it's a real area. But people could not find the original photo that would have been used to make this V and Jenny photo. So it makes people also believe that this is an authentic photo. Other pieces that people could not answer and felt it was too much of a coincidence is that V was not the one taking the photo. So he would have been the one to be cropped into the photo if it was edited. But that is V's apartment. So if V wasn't originally in this photo, but was added in, it still meant that Jenny was still at V's apartment. So this photo became very convincing. Also, a name was dropped of someone that was believed to be a staff. However, I find this photo to be somewhat fake because the editing is weird to me. There's parts that look distorted that aren't exactly parts that you would normally edit. So if it was edited because Jenny was insecure about a body part or something, that is understandable. But it wasn't those parts of a body that seemed distorted. It was like Tang's glasses that looked weird or Jenny's baggy pants being too blurry. These are things that feel like an editing mistake. So it just could very much be a person who really pieced together various online photos of V and Jenny, which is why we can't find two photos that this new photo was edited from. It could be mashed together from like 30 photos. Also, this idea that YG and Hybe are not responding tells me it's fake too, because they don't typically respond to fake dating rumors, only rumors that would appear real. They never address Liz Cook or Nyan and Jungkook or anything like that, because those photos are all edited. But what do you think? Is there a stalker living above V that is leaking all this? Do you think V and Jenny photos are edited? And how do you feel about Jenny doing Calvin Klein? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.